Hey everybody, this is AYG's Alpha Team, here with another video for The Division. This is going to be a video on our classified six-piece Predator's Mark build. And we're going to show you two builds quick. We're going to show you the one we use for Skirmish and Last Stand. We're also going to show you the one we use for regular PvE and Dark Zone. So let's get right in it. Now this particular build is the one we use for regular PvE and Dark Zone. And one major thing to note on this is that this build is spec specifically for max bleed damage. We want to get the bleed as high as we can. So I know a lot of people are going to say, why aren't you using house as your primary? I'm going to tell you right now, we're using the classic AK-47. It is the hardest hitting assault rifle next to the Urban MDR. And since the bleed goes based on the, the 10 bullets that you shoot at a person, let's go over that. Hitting 10 shots without switching targets to make the target bleed for 50% of the damage already done by those bullets. That's the main perk on Predator's Mark. It also applies in the six piece we'll go over in a second, but this is why we're specced for max bleed damage because that's what this build is meant to do. That's why we're going with this way. You can use pretty much any assault rifle or SMG to make this build work great, but that's we, this is specifically why we chose the AK-47. Let's go over the set bonus items. Uh, two, three, and four are all the same. 10% reload speed for two, 8% assault rifle and SMG, and then the Predator's Mark we just read. The set bonus 5 gives you an additional 10% and an additional 8% to Assault Rifle and SMG. Now the 6-piece Predator's Mark. Uh, I'll read this all out, but then we'll just go over it really quick. Hitting 10 shots without switching targets now applies to the Predator's Mark, which makes the target bleed for 50% of the damage already done by those bullets. The Predator's Mark ignores the target's bleed resistance. The damage over time to the target is increased by 15% for every 3,000 stamina and can critically hit the target. When at 9,000 stamina, the damage over time bonus is increased by an additional 120%. So what this means is for every 3,000 stamina, you're going to get more. You're going to get 15% more actual damage, actual target, actual bleed over time damage. But if you hit that 9,000, you're going to get 120% damage. So it's a difference between going 80% and going 120%. So that's why we're going to do it because we're specced all the way into that. And also ignoring the target's bleed resistance. So... No matter how much bleed resistance they have, you're still going to be making a bleed. That's that's gonna, It's going to be irrelevant once you hit that, once you're wearing all six pieces of the Predator's Mark. But that's why we're specking into our AK-47, and that's why we're going That's why we're going to use the 9,000 stamina. You can run a high firearms build with this, and it's still going to be good. There's no, like I said, there's really no wrong way to do it for any assault rifle or any SMG. You're going to be crushing it with either of those. But just so I don't hear from you guys about why I don't primary the house... It's because we're working for max bleed damage. That's what we're doing here. So all of our gear is spec for stamina with the exception of one piece, which is for firearms. And all of our mods are going to be stamina. That's what gets us over that 9,000. So we've got stamina and crit chance. And we are going to spec into crit chance because our firearms is relatively low. So we're going to be relying a lot on the crit chance and crit damage. And since the bleed can actually hit crits, that's going to do us a tremendous amount of damage later on when we're making a bleed. So, like I said, we spec'd into crit chance. You can get crit chance on your mask, gloves, and holster. That's where we got it. Max, gloves, holster. You can get crit damage on your backpack, gloves, and knee pads, and that's what we did because that's what we need to. And since we're spec'd so far into stamina, we already have a ton of toughness, so we're not really missing out on that health. And we don't really need that skill power because this build isn't built for that. Now, we will need some healing, though. So we're going to get some healing from this particular... Talent, cell preserve. So cell preserve, crit hit chance with crit hits with this weapon, heal the user for 3% of damage dealt. Now it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're making them bleed for over 300 K with this AK 47, you're going to be getting that. You're going to be getting back 10,000 K for every time they bleed. So if you can get them to bleed a crit, they're going to be bleeding like ridiculous amounts and you're going to be getting all those heals back, which is good. We're also using unforgiving because we don't have an overheal. So there's a lot of times we're going to be like around half health or lower health and deadly for more actual crit damage. But we also spec uh, a little bit of health on kill right here. We also have some on our weapon, and a little bit of health, ammo capacity, disrupt resistance here. I would rather this be, actually disrupt resistance is probably fine. You can go with burn or you can actually go with ammo capacity. Really up to you. Uh, burn resistance on our mask. Ideally you want shock bleed and burn on your knee pads. But this is just what we had to go with. And then the holster you already know is for crit chance. 
Our weapon is, like I said, the AK-47. Self-preserve, unforgiving, deadly. We're going to be getting a lot out of that self-preserve. All of our mods are going to be crit chance and crit damage. So we've got crit chance on our optics, but then crit damage on our muzzle, under barrel, and we also have it on our magazine because we want max crit chance with max crit damage because that gives us the strongest bleed. And again, that's what we're going for, strongest bleed. Now, if you spec 10,000 into firearms, you would get a really good bleed, but it still would not be as strong as the 120% that you get from by specking into 9,000 firearm, 9,000 stamina. So just keep that in mind. I've already done the math. Specking that high into firearms will not get you the same bleed. You're going to get a stronger bleed with 4,000 firearms and 9,000 stamina. And we are using the house as our secondary. This is just more for burst damage if you need it. But like I said, you can spec, you can build this build any way you want. If you want to spec it for max bleed, the house isn't going to be the best choice. You want something that hits hard. That's why we're using the AK. That's why we're not using the lightweight M4, the LVOAC, because they don't hit as hard per bullet. The AK is the hardest hitting next to the Urban MDR, hardest hitting assault rifle. That's why we're going with it. And our other build is the same Predator's Mark, but for Skirmish. So we had to spec a little bit of higher into stamina because when you get mid-max going into the last stand of Skirmish, your stamina gets dropped. So with this particular setup, we've got it over, we keep it over 9,000. And we're also using a different AK. We're using one that's predatory, sustained, and fierce. I, ideally, I want that predatory to be self-preserved, but this is just what we got. Sustained. And these are sustained and sustained, predatory, and self-preserve are the only talents you can unlock with such low firearms and such low electronics and such high stamina. So that's why we're going with them. And we also have fierce as a free talent because we want to get that max crit hit chance. So 37.5 is the most passive crit hit chance you can get on an assault rifle. Well, I think you could be 38 because if you can, if you can find a mod that's 8% crit chance rather than 7.5, then you can get that up to 38%. So we got the most that we could out of this. And the build is practically the same except we rolled all of our pieces for stamina. And we're using all of our mods are stamina as well with the exception of one because we didn't have to have all of them stamina to get to keep us over 9,000 once we go in so we switched one back to firearms crit chance again first aid self heal and all that now our talents are going to be scrambler and overdose you could go with something like support station with immunizer it is a good choice but we're choosing to go with the pulse just because it helps us give us a little bit better longevity if we can block other pulses Overdose, because that gives us the most heal, and that's what we need. Our talents are going to be Adrenaline, Shrapnel, Precision for that extra pulse every time we hit a headshot. And then Combat Medic, just because we usually roll in groups, so we want to be as helpful as possible. But the the number one you, one you want to get is the Shrapnel. I would say a strong second is going to be Adrenaline, but Shrapnel is going to be the best one you want, because if you can get more than one target bleeding, they will all drop around you. I've got some footage of it happening, actually. It's in this video at the end. You check it out. But that's pretty much the build. Again, this build is meant for max bleed damage. We don't, we aren't caring about doing, just putting max DPS. There is a difference between max bleed and max DPS. Max DPS is something like a lightweight M4 or a house, which is a great choice for this. But for this particular build, we need something that hits harder per bullet. That's why we're going AK. And here's some of our stats 32% on our PVE. AK, that's why that's 32% with 121% weapon uh, critical hit damage. Headshot damage is 81, which we will be taking advantage of as much as we can, even though we're on console. Reload speed is pretty good. Assault rifle damage is 28 from the gloves and from the set bonuses. SMG damage is fine. Enemy armor damage is not bad. Skills are minimal. Armor is 31.97%. We Wanted around 32, but we, this is the best we got with what we got. If you want it higher, you can just optimize your gear. And then some resistances. And these are irrelevant. But yeah, again, one last time, I just want to say this is meant for specifically for bleed damage. The hardest hitting bleed. Now let's get into some gameplay. There's really only one thing you got to remember when using this build, guys. And that is... The bleed is the strength of the build, and it will catch them off guard. So they won't have time to react to heal themselves a lot of times. So there's a three-man rogue team up here. I gave, I waved them off, but they apparently wanted to fight, so coming back. 
I put my 10 bullets down, then I take cover. And the bleed is so strong that it takes out one of them, and they have a heal station down too. It takes out the second guy. And that was just by proxy, that's where that shrapnel comes into play. Now there's still a guy left. And he's still hiding up there, but I know he's the tech guy, so he doesn't have much with him. So I'm going to slow this down so you guys can see the practicality of this of this bleed. He's going to get in position. I'm going to hit him with a shot grenade. And I'll slow it down so you can just see that I'm not... It doesn't... You don't have to get all headshots. You don't have to get all crits for it to be a pretty devastating bleed. So right here you can see regular body shots, a couple of crits, a couple of headshots. Not even that great of an aim. And then that 59,000 hits him, that's a, that's a bleed, and then all of a sudden, bam, he drops to 131,000 bleed. And that's what this build is all about, that strong bleed on strong crit damage with, with a good crit chance from your assault rifle. And this is one of the guys that was just in that group, wave him off again. Apparently he wasn't a fan of that, so he wants to go again. Gets him with the shock. Have to pop recovery. And then we just battle it out. Switch to the house just because I need to get a couple more shots on him. There we go. The bleed is active right there. I know it's going to take over because he can't use another heal. And then he jumps into his own grenade. So just tonight, just to show you guys that the bleed is real and it will catch them off guard. I'm going to let the rest of these play out. You guys can check them out and I will see you at the end. That's our Predator's Mark build, guys. Max bleed damage you can get on a fully automatic assault rifle while still maintaining that 9,000 stamina. Hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more from rgaming.com. Also, shoot us a comment if you have any questions, you want to give us any feedback. It's always appreciated. Until then, go ahead. Game on. Game on! Yeah, game on!